Hi everyone. In this video, let us see the designing of monostable multivibrator, a second type. So, the question is given like this Design a collector coupled one shot with a gate width of 3 milliseconds using NPN transistor. Another name of monostable multivibrator is one shot. Okay, so one shot is known as monostable multivibrator. Now, this is the circuit diagram we have seen in the case of collector coupled monostable multivibrator with the cross coupling from collector to basis. Okay, through a coupling element like a capacitor at one side and capacitor and resistor on the other side to make one stable state and one quasi stable state. Okay, I told you already one stable state is due to existence of capacitance in the coupling between collector and base if there is no capacitor capacitor means alone capacitor alone if capacitor alone is not there like this on the right hand side <clears throat> if capacitor alone is not there then it will be a uh, what is this uh, stable state if capacitor alone is there is a quasi stable state okay because it is automatically changing its other transistors on off state okay so keeping this uh, collector coupled one shot multivibrator or monostable multivibrator into consideration. Now, let us calculate the parameters required for all these uh, monostable multivibrator. Now, assume some parameters like see in the examination when you are asked to design a monostable or any type of multivibrators, you need to assume some parameters like VBSAT, VCSAT, and HFE. Okay, so let us consider assume HFE is equal to some 20 and IB, IB actual value, IB actual value is equal to always it is 1.5 times that of the IB minimum. IB minimum is the current that is flowing into the base of the transistor but when there is no capacitor the actual current should be flown through the uh, transistor's base is IB actual is equal to that will be 1.5 times that of the minimum current that is flowing when the transistor is in off to on state. So for this is for the transistor which is in saturation for transistor in saturation and let VBE is equal to junction voltage minus 1 volt for the off transistor. Okay, so we have taken what is the saturation current of the particular transistor and as well as what is the cutoff voltage of the transistor. Also, let R1 is equal to R2 and VCC is equal to have assumed something like 6 volts, 6 to 10 volts we can assume like that and IC SAT is equal to 2 milli amperes. See one more thing when you are going to calculate such type of designing problems the answers are not at all important. Procedure is important because you might have assumed here 6 volts but some other uh, student may assume 10 volts or 20 volts and similarly here we have assumed R1 is equal to R2 but it may or may not in the remaining cases. Okay, and here we have assumed IC saturation current of this collector current is 2 milli amperes. Okay, all these are assumptions. Designing parameters, most of the designing um, parameters of any type of circuits are in the K are assumptions only. That's why no need to worry about the answers, just do the procedure. 
So now what are the parameters we need to calculate? So we need to calculate we need to calculate RC collector resistance and R R is the resistance connected between here VCC and the capacitor. See these two and next VBB which is a biasing supply at the bottom comma R1, R2 and C. So in the stable state Q2 is in on, Q1 is in off state. So in stable state always start a problem from the stable state because stable state condition is the ultimate state. Okay, even if you apply triggering pulse at the one side, again after some time it comes into the stable state. So stay in stable state, Q1 is in off state and Q2 is in on state. Okay, so now RC calculation. So calculation of the collector resistance RC that is equal to C. Now which transistor is in on state according to our assumption Q2 is in on state. So Q2 is in on state. When Q2 is in on state there is a flow of current from VCC through RC to the collector. So that's why we can say as this transistor is in on state the voltage from here to here collector to emitter is VC is at and we can write it as VCC minus VC is at divided by IC to sat. Okay, so this voltage difference on either sides of this resistance divided by current will give you this resistance value. So, RC is equal to VCC minus VC is at divided by IC to which is the saturation current. That is what we have assumed. So it is 6 by minus 0 divided by IC sat which is nothing but 2 we have assumed is equal to 3 kilo ohms because it is 2 milli. See we have assumed here VC sat which is 0 volts for ideal condition. Okay. Next calculation of R calculation of R which is from VCC to the capacitor that is IB2 minimum is equal to IB2 minimum C this is the value we are going to calculate now the current flowing see when the transistor is said to be in off state here there is no flow of current so we need to work on the right hand side Okay, so the current will be flowing in this direction. So, IB2 minimum is equal to IC2 saturation divided by HFE. Okay, we know this relation IC is equal to beta into IB or HFE into IB. So, that is equal to 2 by 20 equal to 0 0.1 milliampere. Now, what is the saturation voltage of this one? IB2 saturation is equal to, we know the relation, 1.5 times that of the IB2 minimum. So, which is equal to 0.15 milli amperes. Now, using this, we can calculate the R value. Because we, R value is nothing but voltage differences divided by current. So, what is the voltage on either sides of this resistance VCC? minus what is the voltage here I, VB2 VB2 for the transistor which is in saturation region so as this is an ideal transistor we have taken so saturation voltage are 0 so VCC minus VB2 by this current IB2 therefore R is equal to VCC minus VB2 
VB2 which is in saturation voltage divided by IB2 which is a saturation current that is equal to 6 minus 0 by what is that IB, uh, IB2 0 0.15 milliampere okay so here also VB2 sat is equal to 0 we have assumed this saturation voltage as 0 okay that is equal to 40 kilovolts this is our value next calculation of capacitance C this is the main parameter used to charge automatically so we know that time width T is equal to 0.693 RC okay we should know this relation don't forget T is nothing but width pulse width or gate width T is equal to 0.693 times time constant RC so from this C is equal to T by T by 0.693 into R whatever the parameter given or not but T should be given in any problem. So T is equal to 3 into T value is given 3 milliseconds. See in the problem itself it is given a gate width of 3 milliseconds. So 3 milliseconds 3 into 10 power minus 3 divided by 0 0.693 into R value 40 kilo ohms. 40 into 10 power 3 which is equal to 0 0.108 microfarad okay now coming to the VBB calculation calculation of VBB a biasing supply at the base so VBB base potential of Q1 VB1 is equal to minus VBB into R1 by R1 plus R2 plus Vc is 2 set into R2 by R1 plus R2. See here, go to the circuit diagram. Here I am talking about Vb1. This is Vb1 from here. Vb1 here to ground. So this is having, this is having the voltage from two voltages. One is Vbb another one is in the same path we are having the another voltage supply that is vcc okay that means it is having influence on both this both of these voltages so but as the particular transistor q2 is in on state so here the voltage appeared here it is vc is set vc2 set so it is having influence from this VBB and as well as from this VC2 set. <coughs> so VBB into voltage device voltage division rule R1 by R1 by R1 plus R2 plus VC2 set R2 by R1 plus R2. Okay, so this value we have taken that is equal to minus 1 is equal to minus VBB into R1 by R1 plus R2 that is equal to minus VBB into R1 by R1 plus R2 but we know this R1 is equal to R2 okay that's why it will be 1 by 2 so simply minus VBB by Therefore, VBB is equal to 2 volts. Next, calculation of R1 and R2. Calculation of R1 and R2. So, in the quasi-stable states, Q1 is in on state, Q2 is in off state. Assume that the quasi-stable state Q1 is equally driven into saturation region. Okay. We are going to calculate these two parameters when a triggering pulse is applied. So, uh, after the application of triggering pulse, what happens? 
quasi stable state will come quasi stable state in quasi stable state q1 is in on state q2 is in off state then ibn actual value just the cases are altered is equal to 0.15 milliamperes and ic1 is equal to 2 milliamperes see we are taking the transistors as identical so both the transistors are identical whatever the uh, current voltage is applied to the q2 the same we are going to apply to the q1 as well so uh, i4 is equal to vcc minus vbe1 saturation region divided by rc plus r1 which is the current entering into the base of the transistor vcc minus vb sat divided by rc plus r1 <coughs> that is equal to 6 minus saturation voltage is 0 divided by 3 plus r1 that is equal to 6 by 3 plus r1 now second current that is, that is i5 see these currents are entering into the basis of the transistors i3 i think we have taken it as what is that current i3 is going through this one vcc minus vb is at i4 VCC minus VB set this one I4 this is I5 okay hmm. now I5 is equal to so what is I5 I5 is equal to VBE1 set minus minus vbb divided by r2 2 by r2 so ib1 actual value is equal to i4 minus i5 that means see here this is I4 uh, we have taken here in that expression as this one as I5 okay so I4 is the current coming in this direction this is the total current after coming at this junction it is divided as IB1 and I5 so it is the difference between these two voltages that is IB actual that's why 0.15 into 10 power minus 3 that is equal to 6 by 3 plus r1 minus 2 by r1 so if we simplify this under choosing some values you will get r1 r2 is equal to 21.82 kilo ohms okay so these are the different parameters of all these Therefore, all circuit components are R1 equal to R2 equal to 21.82 kilo ohms. Just now we have calculated. And RC is equal to 3 kilo ohms. R equal to 40 kilo ohms. And C is equal to 0 0.108 microfarads. Okay. So this is the way how to calculate the one shot or monostable multi vibrator with given pulse width or gate width. Thank you.